Hi, my fit and funky fitness friends. This is Deb, and I wanted to just uh, let you all know I'm thinking about you, and uh, you might be surprised to know how often I think about you guys. Um, I really do take being your coach very seriously. I appreciate the, the faith that you have put in me by choosing me as your coach, and I think about you all the time. I worry about you. I know, you know, many of you have shared your stories with me and I am constantly praying and thinking of things that would help you. So I just wanted to say hi and give you a personal message today. There was another um, thing I wanted to address as well. Um, it's come up a lot that you're finding that you're not losing weight as fast as you'd like to. And I see the post that I'm working out, I'm doing my workouts, and I'm eating healthy, so, you know, why am I not losing weight? And all I can tell you is losing weight is a numbers game. So if you're not losing weight, there's three reasons why. One, you're not eating enough calories. Two, you're eating too many calories. Or three, you're not working out hard enough or often enough. It's a numbers game. So the first one, not eating enough calories. Raise your hand if you think that if 1,200 calories a day is good, then eating 1,000 calories a day is even better. Let me assure you that you can't starve your body thin. So if, if your recommended calories is 1,200 or 1,500 or whatever it is, based upon you know the calculations that my fitness palace told you or um, the beach body workout program fitness guides have told you whatever that number is listen to it and believe it don't try to cut your calories too low or your body will think it's starving it will hold on to your calories and your fat it will start eating your muscle which then slows your metabolism down and believe you me i as a young teenager completely wrecked my metabolism by trying to eat too few calories. And it takes years and years and years to fix that problem. So don't go there. Number two, not eating or eating too many calories. Now I see this a lot. You know, when I ask you, okay, well tell me how many calories a day you're eating. Well, I'm not, I don't know how many calories, I don't have time to track it, but I can assure you I'm eating healthy. I believe you that you're eating healthy. But let me tell you, it's a numbers game. If you need to be eating 1,200, 1,500 calories a day to lose weight, and you're eating 2,000 calories a day of healthy food, you're not gonna lose weight. You're just not, it's a numbers game. So I know, I, I get a lot of pushback on this from people. And all I can say is don't be disappointed by the results you're not getting because of the effort you're not putting in. People that are serious about losing weight know how many calories they're eating a day. They know how many calories they should be eating a day. They know calories that are in the foods that they're eating. You have to know that. It's just, you can't shortchange the process. Um, so I know for myself that, you know, I eat healthy. You know, I sure I have the occasional handful of peanut M&Ms and I eat Mexican food out once a week, but I eat healthy. But when I need to lose weight, when I have maybe put on a couple pounds and I want to get back down to my fighting weight, my fighting calories are 1,200 calories without exercise. Now, when I exercise, I get to add, add more calories in. But let's just say it's 1,200 calories, no exercise included. It's hard, folks. It is hard to stay in that calorie range. And I have to make choices. I have to make choices. I may have, you know... I may want to have my my cup of Activia light yogurt, but I'm not. I can't have it because with the other things I've eaten or the other things I'm planning to eat, that puts me 100 calories more than I need to be eating. I have to really work at that. So I, you just can't get around that. Um, you have to work at it, and you need to know what you're eating. And again, eating healthy. Again, too much healthy food is still going to keep weight on you. You can work out every day, do turbo fire and insanity, and sure, you're gonna get stronger, you're gonna develop muscle, you're gonna have greater endurance, but your scales aren't gonna move if you're putting too many calories into your body. So number three comes to the exercise. So 
you know, the one thing that's really good people have asked about, the heart rate monitors. The thing about the heart rate monitors is it tells you exactly what your burn is. Now you can go onto MyFitnessPal or other tools that give you an estimated burn for the kinds of activities that you're doing. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's perf That's certainly better than nothing. But the nice thing about a heart rate monitor is it tells you your individual burn. So if you're working out for 45 minutes and you're burning 100 calories, you know, maybe that gives you a place of comparison to look at other people. Well, they're burning 200 calories. I'm not working out hard enough. Or maybe this workout's too hard for me, therefore I can't work out hard enough. Maybe I need a different kind of workout. So it really helps you know exactly, you know, for you, your specific individual self, what you need to be doing to burn the calories that you need to be burning. Um, frequency, same thing. So, you know, when I'm tracking my food on my fitness pal, I have a hard time not working out of a day. Now I know every we don't it's I certainly am not suggesting that you work out seven days a week. I mean our most of the workout programs I recommend have at least one or two days of a break in them and that's wonderful. You need your body needs to rest. But I also hear a lot of you saying, Oh, today's my rest day, but I don't really want to rest because I'm, you know, so psyched by my workout. Well that's kind of the way it is when you start realizing that Whenever you are tracking your calories and you put your exercise in and you counter that with the food you're eating, that you can actually eat a little bit more food because of the exercise you did and you burned your weight off faster, you get really addicted to wanting to work out as much as you can. So again, think about the intensity that you're working out and the frequency that you're working out. The final thing I wanted to mention is um, for any of you that are interested, I have a, um, in honor of Lent coming up, I have a 40 Days to Fitness Challenge group starting. And this is challenge is a little different because of Lent, I want to really focus not only on the body, but on the mind and the spirit. So in this challenge, we will be working on our beach body workout programs and our nutrition with Shakeology and counting our calories. But I'm also going to throw in some daily activities that really help us focus on our mind, on our mind and our spirit as well. So I hope that yeah, if you want to participate, let me know. Love to have you. And in addition, if you have any friends that want to get involved with Deb's Fit Groove and want to do some of these challenges, um, I'm offering to you all my existing team members. Um, anybody that you refer to one of my challenge groups that gets one of our challenge packs, I'm going to say thank you to you by um, sending you a free Rock and Body workout program and or equivalency thereof. So if Rock and Body is not your thing, we'll find something else that is equivalent uh, to that. So um, again, keep that in mind. Would love to get uh, some of your friends in the group. And you know, when you have buddies that uh, are a part of your life, it's really nice to share with them all the things that have been helping you. And I hope that Deb's Fit Groove has been helping you get healthier, happier, fitter, um, and that you've enjoyed the friendships that you've made here and that you really want to share that with other people. So with that, I will say goodbye. You guys are in my thoughts, in my heart, in my mind, and in my prayers. Talk to you later.